Hello, welcome to Jumpin' Johnny Gaming. This is part 4 of my walkthrough of the Heartland DLC that covers all quests and achievements. In the last part we are finished with the network storyline and now I'm going to cover the last Wilkinson storyline. There is not that much difference in the two storylines. You will get two different survivors to recruit and we are going to recruit Isaac as well to get those two achievements. Some of the main quests are slightly different as you are dealing with Mickey Wilkerson instead of Ray Santos, but it all heads into the same retaken Trumbull Valley main questline. Recruit all the survivors you can and start to wrap up any other achievements that you need. I will show you all the different main quests and dialogue in this video and then when you complete the game for a second time, the only two achievements you need to boost is destroying 20 walls which you will be halfway there and curing yourself and other survivors 100 times with the Blood Plague Cure. And if you haven't got the Echo Weapons in your second playthrough, then you will have to start new ones. But to quicken that, start a new game, set up a basic base, then head to the Echo locations. The start is the same. Watch out for the Blood Feral, meet Malik, and clear out the base. Make the Blood Plague Cure, start doing up your base and getting supplies. So, this is Trumbull Valley, huh? I thought it'd be bigger. Your mom loved visiting this place. It killed her to leave it all behind. Aunt Fee, I'm pretty sure it was the vodka that killed mom. I know I was only six at the time, but I was there. <laughs> we need to be careful. We're getting close to civilization again, which means we'll run into more Zeds. Whatever. Let's just go find someone who knows my dad, okay? Fuck me, that was not a normal feral. No, it wasn't. We need to find someone who knows more about this place. For once, we're in total agreement. See if this guy knows my dad. I suppose it wouldn't hurt to chat with him. Well, I know everybody in this valley. You're not from around here, are you? No, we came here looking for, for, for someone important to me. Tell you what, if you help me out, I can probably point you in the right direction. You will get a call to continue on with the main quest that is unique to this playthrough, which is to search and find Mickey Wilkinson, and you have to place Larice. Talk to Malik to get some information, and he will tell you a location of someone who would know where Mickey is. Go to the location where someone named Brock will be looting. Defend him while he is looting, and he will lead you to the Wilkinson's house. Not sure why Malik couldn't have told you that, considering everyone knows where the Wilkinson's farm is. Hey, I'm looking for Mickey Wilkerson. Do you know where I can find him? You're looking for the Wilkersons. Really? On purpose? Yeah, I guess I can help. Look, I know a guy who works with the Wilkersons. It'd be safer than talking to one of them in person. Hey, it's your funeral. Yeah, the guy you want is named Brock. I've seen him scavenging at some bar over in Spencer's Mill. Listen, that's a long walk, so you should gear up and grab a set of wheels. Hold on there, Larice. You are not doing this without me. Fine. You can ride shotgun, but don't try to talk me out of this. I wouldn't dream of it. You know, your mother and I kept you away from this town for a reason. Aunt Fee, I told you not to make this a thing. Fine. It's not a thing. I just want you to be prepared.
that damn thing. I know it's around here. Sounds like someone's in there. I don't like this, not one bit. Come on, Aunt Fee. We came this far. Yes, found it. Oh shit, no time to chat. We got zombies coming in. We got zombies incoming. Apocalypse. Do I know you from somewhere? You look familiar. Mickey Wilkerson? Shit, yeah, of course I know him. What, you owe money or something? No, it's not like that. This is personal. Whatever you say. You did me a solid back there, so I'll introduce you. Are you sure we can trust this guy? Do we have a choice? I'm sure it'll be fine. Uh, yo, I'm right here, you know. Boring. So tell me, how do you know Mickey Wilkerson? Are you related? You mean, am I a Wilkerson? Shit, no, I just work for the family. Aunt Fee, stop grilling the guy. He's doing us a favor. close now cool thanks for the help yeah you might want to save your thanks until after you meet the lady in charge hey there Nat is Mickey around I got somebody here who wants to meet him Brock what's wrong with you bringing strangers into my home see told you not to thank me too soon Mickey's busy you can talk to me girl I just spotted a new face Who are you? Why do you want to talk to my cousin Mickey? He's my father, all right? Does that answer your question? Is that a fact? Well, I guess Mickey did used to run around with a lot of girls. Could be true. I'm not lying. My mom told me all about Mickey and the rest of the Wilkerson's. 
Look, Mom died when I was six. Is it that crazy that I'd want a chance to get to know my dad? Well, I admit, most folks had never worked this hard to meet my dirtbag cousin. Let me think on this a little. I'll get back to you. I guess I've come this far. I can wait, but not for too long. Come on, Larisse. Let's go home and give this woman time to think over what you've told her. Hey, Larisse, come talk to me before you go. If you're part of the family, then I guess I work for you, too. Here's a little something for you. Later. As you complete the quest, it's the usual drill of upgrading your base, getting supplies, and wait till the next quest gets called in. Now, Larisse can produce upgrade kits for your cars, which you couldn't do in the network storyline, and there is an achievement for making the three different upgrade kits the light, medium, and heavy kits, and using them to upgrade a light, medium, and heavy vehicle. Like when you had to create the network weapons, you will need a lot of screw components. Not as many, but I would recommend recruiting all the survivors again, like the first playthrough, as the more survivors you got, the better upgrades and perks you can get. But recruit Diana again for her fabricator facility to help you with this achievement. Also, you will need power to the repair depot, which you can use a power facility mod, or wait until you recruit Chavis, which comes with a utilities facility. More on this achievement later on in the walkthrough. First things first though, you have to go and get circuit parts so you can upgrade the repair depot. It feels wrong to have all that empty space just sitting there.
should be here. It has to be. We're zombie free for now. Jackpot. Goody. Okay, this might be too heavy. The next main quest that happens is called Blood Runs Deep. I didn't get any radio messages, it just popped up, but probably because I wasn't playing as Larisse. You have to play as Larisse and then Nat calls up and wants you to do a job for her and get some detonators. There will be a blood play car in this mission to destroy, so make sure you are fully supplied to take it out. Okay then, make sure you're ready to get into some trouble. Wilkerson. He'll do what's needed to survive. You're gonna find us some detonators. And take that useless sack of meat with you. Ah, oh, come on. I can handle this myself. <laughs> like I trust you with this? She's going with you. End of story. Yes, ma'am. Just like that. Everybody loves me. I hear you. This is the place. It's not so bad, right? You are seriously full of shit. Maria, think about this. Is getting to know this new family worth risking your life? I know you can't understand this, but I have to know where I came from. After we clear out the zombies and grab what we're here for, Nat'll have to respect me. Oh, this again. Fabulous.
I take out the nearest plague heart, this might just clear up. Looks like that screamer's about to barf. Beat feet out of here. Getting low on that. That's a lot of stuff. I already got all I can handle. I already got all I can handle. with this. Hey, I found it. That's what I'm talking about. You know what? I like you. We should hang out. Uh, thanks. 
Let's not rush things, okay? Yo, yo, look who's not dead! We found what you wanted. Are we done? Am I a Wilkerson now? I see you even managed to keep that good-for-nothing Brock alive. I'm impressed. I know that wasn't easy, but you gotta be hard on everyone to survive out here. Well now, you might just be a Wilkerson after all. Thank you. Once you have returned the detonators, Brock asks to go with you. Say yes and bring him back to your base for an achievement, and Brock can upgrade your lab. Check to see if Brock has got the blood plague from after the battle and destroying the plague heart. You're pretty cool. You think I could crash at your place? Really? You mean it? Yes! Hey Nat, I'm gonna go live with Larice now, okay? Uh, if you're sure you want him, kid, he's all yours. gave me a place to stay, but it never felt like a home. Seriously, thank you. Don't stress about it. And uh, don't make me regret this. I <laughs> have all that empty space just sitting there. The next main quest will be when Mickey Wilkerson turns up at your base asking Larice to help with the job. Like usual, you have to play as Larice. It's a relatively easy quest, you just have to rough up a guy to get what he owes. So after the dialogue he gives you, get ready to shoot him a few times, he gives up and then wrap up the quest. Should be a milk run. Good deal, kid. Let's see what you're really made of. Careful, Larisse. You don't know what Mickey's capable of. He's my dad. I have to do this. So this guy we're going to see, he owes us big time, but he's late with his rant, if you get my drift. He moves around a lot, but I know where he's holed up now. Uh, okay. Yeah. I told you to call me Mickey. You got that? Okay. Sorry, Mickey. Xander, this here's my kid. I'm showing her the family business. I told you, Mickey, I'm done with this. I don't have anything for you. Not today, not ever. Now why you gotta embarrass me in front of my kid like that? Go on, girl. Time to start earning your keep.
don't have to do this. I don't owe Mickey anything, and neither do you. Hey, hey calm down. Nobody needs to get hurt, okay? Woo! Fuck yeah! Kick his ass, girl! I should reload. I give up. I give up. Take whatever you want. Just don't kill me. Yeah, I told you he'd roll over. Go take what's ours, girl. Hey, kid, you were great. Come here a second. God, you really are just as bad as your father. What a family. Just take it. I'm getting the hell out of this valley. Good riddance, asshole. Hey, kid, you were great. Come here a second. Well, shit. There's no denying you're my kin. You keep that payment for your people, okay? You know what? Call me dad. Shit. I never thought I'd want to hear somebody call me that. What a crazy fucking world. See you around, kid. Hey, Aunt Fee, we just finished up out here. Dad and me. So, are you okay, Larice? Are you kidding? I am pumped. I have a dad, and he thinks I kick ass. As long as you're happy, that's all I care about. I get that, and thanks. I couldn't have done this without you. No place to put that. Now, pretty much, the main quest line will be the same as the previous playthrough. You will meet Captain Logan, get what he needs from the clear drop, watch out for the blood juggernaut, and the Wilkinsons will be the one to bring a zombie horde siege at your base, which you will have to go back and deal with. Now you can follow what we did in the first playthrough because this is now essentially placed the same where you will be doing the retaken Trumbull storyline. You can go to the unmarked side quest to recruit Diana and for me for some reason Reba was never at her house on my playthrough. When Vic calls to look for his husband Isaac, follow that quest like last time until you get the option to lie to Vic and say Isaac is dead. Then Isaac will call you and ask to join. This will net you the final recruitment achievements. Now I got enough materials and screw components to make the three vehicle upgrade kits I need for the Max Would Be Proud achievement. You have to find a heavy, medium and light car to use the respective kits to modify them. I have put in the description below a list of all the cars and what category they fall under as all vehicles are spawned randomly. I used the Brogan Trekker for the light upgrade kit, the Miagra for the medium upgrade kit and finally I used the Jeep for the heavy upgrade kit. You can also get this achievement by joining a multiplayer Heartland game and using an existing community from the main game you can bring with you a light, medium and heavy kit to use. Honestly, the historical accuracy of these dinosaurs is a little questionable. Did somebody order a badass new ride? Done and done.
And that's pretty much it on this playthrough and walkthrough for the Heartland DLC. After two playthroughs, we pretty much got all the achievements we can, and you will only need a few more that requires boring grinding, which would be a lot of video footage of doing the same thing over and over again. Most of the last achievements you need, you can do it at the end of the last plague war. So continue playing the game exactly like the first playthrough, and when you defeat the last plague wall and complete the game again, you can continue the game in the main Heartland menu and face the last plague wall again, but all your consumables does not reset so it will require a lot of bloater gland farming for you to get the achievement for destroying 20 plague walls, which after two playthroughs you would have done 10 already. Then do a lot of blood plague sample farming and use the last plague wall and bring another survivor with you, and make both run into the glowing red puddle and you will both immediately get infected and then cure yourself and cure your fellow survivor 100 times each with the blood plague cure. And finally, if you have played this solo or multiplayer, you can do the opposite on the last plague wall. For example, in the first playthrough I played solo and got the achievement for playing solo. If you want multiplayer, have someone join your game or join someone on the last plague wall, you will get credit for completing the game in co-op, and if you haven't got it, the achievement for playing a co-op game as well. If you like this video, subscribe to my channel. There are tips, achievement guides and full walkthroughs posted every week. Thanks for watching. I hope you will join me in part 1 of the Homecoming DLC for State of Decay 2.